people. If you can't sell, your business is dead. If you can't communicate what people need, your business is dead. Think about it. Most people in business, 95% of businesses, go broke within five years. 95%. Why? Because people don't know how to sell. It's not that they can't run a team, because you have to learn that too. It's not that they don't know numbers. Most people don't, but it's not that reason. Most people's businesses go broke because they can't communicate and they can't sell. So what does selling mean? Selling means to understand who is your customer. But I don't mean just generally with a demographic and, and you know what their income is. You need to know your customer. What is their pain point? What is holding them back? See, most people, all they've done is they've quit a job, started a business, and are now working for another boss. That boss happens to be you. Just yourself. If your business is not making enough that you can fully pay all your taxes, the net amount that you make after you pay tax is well over half a million dollars, you're broke. You need to be making a million dollars net. Pay your tax out of that, have a portion of that to invest and the rest to live off. Because by the time you get a nice house, you get a nice car, it is, and have some travel, it's gone. Pay for the kids in school, all that sort of stuff, the money is gone. And you know what I'm talking about, don't you? How much do you save out of your own bank account each year? You're broke. And the only way you're not going to be broke is to learn to communicate and learn to sell. You need to learn to communicate in your marriage with your partner. You need to learn to communicate with your children. These are not skills that your parents taught you and these are not skills that school taught you. So don't think that you've got those skills. I had to acquire those skills. I acquired those skills after I blew up my first business. I acquired those skills after I built a $400 million company and it exploded. And I lost my marriage, lost a lot of contact with my kids and I had to learn to re-communicate in each of those areas. So do you. So what is selling? Selling is understanding where somebody is at, what their pain is, what their problem is, and being able to show them clearly that there's a gap between where they are right now and where they want to be. And it's not difficult, no matter whether you're selling a product, a physical product, or you're selling information or coaching or mentoring or things like that. It's the same process. Once you've done that, then you need to look at investment. Because investment ultimately is where you're actually gonna make all your money. Now you might reinvest in the business, you know, like Jeff Bezos has done, like Elon Musk, reinvesting back in your expertise. If that's, what, that's your magic, then go and do that. But you also will note that they'll invest in other things. If you look at the top 100 rich people in America and Australia, you'll see that most of the wealth is made in real estate. But as Jeff Bezos amply demonstrated, there's no much point in doing all that if you then give away $33 billion to your partner because you didn't acquire the skills to maintain your marriage. That's just stupidity. I don't care how brilliant he is in business. I'm sorry, in life, he is friggin' stupid. You have to have it all. I know what I'm talking about. I did it in my 20s. I had that company and I had $400 million and I blew it all up. So that, that doesn't make any sense. If you want to have it all, if you want to have a great business, investments, you've got to create what we call a kingdom. You can create an empire, but empires collapse. Empires rise and they fall. Just look at the Roman one, the Greek one. So you've got to build a kingdom. You've got to have it all in different areas. <clears throat> what you're going to find is that 80% of what you do is you. You're believing in you. 
It's not strategy. People get it confused. They think 80% of it is strategy. If I just find the right strategy, just that right little piece of information, you know, from Jeff Bezos or whoever that you follow, it ain't that. It is you. And 20% is strategy. Because I can give you his strategy, but if you can't implement it, if you're not that type of person, see, we're all different types of people, different types of entrepreneurs. If you don't get that right, you're just bashing your head against a brick wall. And I know you know what I'm talking about here. So that's the key. That's why Jeff Bezos is stupid. Put it all up, then give it worse than away. What's the point in that? And this is what you've got to get. You've got to have the whole game. 